So initially we give open AI and backend. Uh, everyone want to work on open AI because it is like uh, they they can build anything they want, and then yeah. nobody was there for uh, back backend. These kids were calling that person and telling like, "So Cheta, we have built the atom bomb," <laughs> and that's how we put backend as a challenge in one of our hackathons. Somebody comes and asks me like, "I want to learn backend. Come to Discord, eight thirty Tuesday." On Mueller. Yeah, we had a talent named Top Hundred Coders. So in the final event, we made uh, them to learn backend in a and to be like in a night, and uh, they made products in two days. So so that is where around twenty seven people actually came together and learned yeah. backend. And and uh, Fires was there. He was like a guru sitting there, and everyone was sitting. Around there. So initially, we gave open AI and backend. Uh, everyone want to work on open AI because it is like uh, they they can build anything they want, and then nobody was there for uh, uh, backend. So we just asked them like. You just come forward. Whoever get to backend, that is when after one day you can go back to open A if you want. But for open A, you have to stick on open A. So then, uh, like after that session, uh, then around twenty six people came forward for backend and they worked together. And who participated to backend? Yeah. Abhita is a ten standard student. Oh, what what did he he we can mix package. Mix package. packaging. He actually has the pull request. Can it be? Yeah. He's a ten standard student. He's from Agra. We were searching for options, uh, like yeah, initially uh, blockchain, uh, things, but that didn't work out. At that time, we were searching and find uh, backend, and that's how we put backend as a challenge in one of our hackathons. Uh, we we were trying to replace the the uh, blockchain thing without uh, the expenses. We want to give them something more challenging, and that is yeah. how we chose backend. That that's why we uh, put uh. Um, backend, it's a complete protocol. So they have to think, they have to code, they have to create schemas. Everything they have to do from the basic. They learn everything and build uh, a server running POS uh, within three days. So when when I pick uh, backend, uh, people are telling like I am mad. So people will uh, tell like you you are crazy because you are giving a protocol to the students. It is so complex. It is not possible for anyone to learn backend in three months or five months. You you are creating them, so I just started let them fail. It is not required for everyone to uh, win everything in uh, this thing. I want to challenge them, and then and then I, the, of course Fires was there, so Fires told like he will be coming the architect, so uh, engineer at uh, Becken. So I just told the other people like no no engineer from uh, Becken is coming. Then he was telling like it is like building an atom bomb. I will bring you the people who actually build atom bomb or the engineer from atom bomb. Can you build it in a three days time? Uh, that was the it challenge. In build it. Then they finally, after the say, day two, these kids were calling that person and telling like, "So Cheta, we have built the atom bomb." <laughs> Decentralization is the key because we do not want to have uh, everything centralized, standardized, and all those things. So it should evolve by itself, and and then each campus should have its own. We learn there, and and we just have to set the protocol, and 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 the stuff the people should define like how actually they want to enhance, and for each interest groups. That is the think tanks will come together and they discuss and decide on on how actually we learn learning should happen. So we just have the set protocol on how we get it validated. That is the proof of work is the key. Like learning is part uh, part of it. It is not just like whether they do it by a course or a classroom training or anything of that sort. But once they learn a skill, they should have something working to showcase and it should be peer reviewed and vetted. That is the core thing. Normally, what happens is like when all new technology advancements happen, the velocity at which it transmit to the learner is like it need to be bundled as a course, or it should come inside a curriculum. We learn actually avoids that. I immediately it gets to the adopter, and and they form small learning circles and and learn together. So learning together is the key, and we learn is actually a network of people who are connected together to support each other. So it is a collective movement, and anything that goes to a platform is free. And we want to democratize the access. It is not just about making the courses discoverable. It is also finding the similar interest people coming together and also getting it accountable. So that is what new learning is. There are different uh, people who are working on the same issue. That is the skill gap. And 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 normally what is what we see around is everyone want to keep their territory. They build their territory, build the walls, and work within that. That is the only reason why they cannot scale. And new learning actually bring together all those people. And we are actually the content curator, not the content creator. So the content get curated by the think tanks, and it goes to the platform. And and the students, uh, like whenever they want to learn together, it is just like an atomic habit. Like they have want to decide on the time and location where they meet in the campus, 
and it has to be publicized so that others from different classes can see like oh there is someone who is discussing on cyber security here or on back end here and they come together and know each other so it is also building connection between people coming together that is where the fun begins and they start learning and whenever they run down it is not just about coming up with a certificate they have to create a proof of work just for example if they want to learn a uh, web development uh, they actually have to go and build one t-shop online go kind of requirement build that website and there are office hours for each in those groups every week on a specific time where they can get at any questions clarified and people of similar interest from different campuses and different companies come together and there they network as well as get the questions clarified and eventually the t-shop owner has a website people start using it and the person who learned that thing app karma and the karma value happens at the end when he want to get a job or when he want to get towards some gig work or if he build a product he want some funding that is he will get use of that karma bites i have been